I'm going to show you how to make this little necklace here with a little heart and a little chain okay I'm going to use from Jewelry Maker kit number SDXC35 okay um, which is a great kit because you've got loads of these little uh, chair glass hearts in there which are really beautiful you've got it in different colors you've got five meters of chain in there a really nice chain with a good weight and an interesting link okay and you've also got um, uh, some gemstones in there uh, and some seed beads so for this necklace what we're going to use is we're going to use nine of the glass heart beads okay we're going to use your size 8 beads your size 60 beads okay we're going to use some of the chain we're going to use some beading thread and for your tools we're going to use um, a pair of round nose pliers a pair of cutters and a pair of flat nose pliers okay and then you're also going to need um, uh, nine head pins okay and then whatever findings you want to use to finish off your necklace so clasp uh, jump rings um, things like that I'm not going to show you how to finish off the necklace because most people can do that already okay so I'm just going to show you how to do the rest of it okay okay so to start off you're going to need a piece of your beading thread uh, I usually use uh, the length of the necklace that I want to make uh, plus I add about another 8 to 10 inches so about 25 centimeters extra to give me some room to work at the end um, with my findings okay put something on the end of it uh, either one of the, the stoppers or you can use a little bulldog clip just like that so to stop your beads falling off the other end okay then you're going to start to pick up some of your seed beads so I started with three of the eight o's okay then two of the six o's okay and then from here on it's five of the eight o's could start with five eight toes if you wanted to instead of the three I just started with the three because I thought it looked nice okay so five and then two of the six O's okay and then five of your eight O's again three four five now you're going to pick up that combination of beads a few times this will be the end of your necklace so you can add on to it later on or take take away depending on the length that you want your necklace to be so don't worry too much about how many of those combinations you pick up as long as that's your that's your pattern okay so the last one you want to pick up is a 6-0 okay now you've got a nice big spool of um, chain here so don't cut your chain off the spool if you can work with it on the spool because then you're not going to cut off any that you don't need and waste it okay now when you get your chain you might have your chain finishing with one of these little links that you've got in between the big ones just cut that off with your cutters until you have a nice clean big link at the end of your chain okay and put your beading thread through that last big link okay so that's what you have there okay now you're going to pick up the same combination again so pick up a 6-0 then pick up five of your eight toes five okay then pick up another six o okay so you've got your next next section of beads there okay now you're going to add your chain again so for the chain what you need to do is you need to go to the sixth big link in your chain so if you're holding your chain like that starting with your free link so don't count the one at the end because including the one at the end you're going to need seven links so start with the empty one so you've got one two three four five and this is the sixth one here so go through the sixth big link okay and then you've got your first little loop of chain on your necklace there okay then you're going to do the same thing again so pick up another 6-0 and then five eight o's one two three four five then a six o okay then take your chain again 
and then count your large links. So you've got your empty ones are one, two, three, four, five. Let's go through the sixth one. Okay, now you've got your next little chain link there. Okay, so I did four of those before I started the section where I added the hearts. I can show you on the necklace quickly. So can you see on the end, I've got some empty ones here. And then I started to add on the hearts after that. So to do the section with the hearts, you're going to do exactly the same except for one thing. When you get to the section here where I've just added the chain, right? I'm going to add another loop of chain, which is going to hang just in the middle here, just empty. So basically, now I'm going to pick up my chain. Now I'm going to find the fourth empty uh, large link. So one, two, three, four. Go through the fourth one this time. Remember, I've been going through the sixth one before. This time it's the fourth one. Okay, bring that down. So that will create just a straight little loop of chain that hangs in the middle there. That's what you're going to attach your little hearts to. Okay, then you're going to carry on with your seed beads. Don't forget to start with your six. So you pick up a six O and then five of your eight O's. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then a six O. Again, okay, so you've got that section there, right? Now you're going to add your loop of chain. So now you're going for the sixth big link again one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go through the sixth one. Okay, so now you've got your little loop of chain there, and then you need your next little loop for your dangle. So now you go through the fourth large link so one two three four okay there okay now you're going to add your beads again so pick up a six o and then one two three four five okay and then another six o okay and you're going to carry on just like that until you have the, the length that you want. Okay, so now you're going to need the sixth one again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There you go. And then I added, again, on the other end, obviously, I added another four of the loops without any uh, of the extra bits in, in between for the, for the dangles. Okay. So I added four empty loops. And then I started with the extra dangles until I had nine of the extra bits to attach hearts to. And then I added another four of the empty loops after that. Okay. So to add your hearts, what you're going to do, at this point I would have, when I've uh, threaded all of that on, I would finish off my necklace actually uh, on both ends. Uh, just add as many of these little extensions as you like to the end to get the length of the necklace that you need. Um, I can show you how many I had. So after my chain, so here's my, my hearts, then I've got my four empty loops there. Okay, and then I had another one, two, three, four sections of, uh, of five size eights, and then I had my three at the end. Okay, so that's the, the length that I made, but you might want to do a different length. Okay, so then I would finish off my necklace. I would cut off the chain and finish off both ends. So then to add the hearts, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up a head pin. You're going to put one of your heart beads, beads on there, like so. Okay, then you're going to turn the head pin up on the other side of the hole. Hold it tight against the heart and then just use your finger like so to bend it up. Just gently. You don't want to break the heart, although I haven't broken a single one, so they're not that easy to break. Okay. Then you're going to use your cutters to cut your head pin to about a centimeter from where your heart is, okay? Not your heart, the heart. <laughs> okay, so cut it off there. Okay, so you've got a little piece like that. Then you're gonna take your round nose pliers and you're going to make a loop 
towards the front of the heart. Can you see? It's quite a quite a deep um, bead. So you want your loop to sit directly on top of the heart. You don't want it to sit backwards because then your heart is going to sit wonky. You want it, the loop to be over the top. Okay, so you've got your head pin going up directly at the back of the heart. So you want to turn your loop towards the front. Okay. So just like that till it touches there can you see I've got the loop directly on the top of the bead okay then you're just going to use your flat nose pliers open up that loop just like you would with the jump ring okay then on your on your necklace you're going to find these little bits of chain that you added here but can you see because we did every fourth large link that we went through on this these loops uh, that means you have five links in one of these little drops including the two that are on the uh, on the beading thread which means you have one big link which is the middle of that piece okay that's why you need to work with the the odd numbers but obviously when you're adding it on you're going through to the fourth one because you've already got one on the beading thread so you've got five big loops in that little section there so you find the middle one okay put that through the loop that you just made on your head pin which can be a little bit tricky to hold everything in the right position especially when you haven't got your necklace finished off you can grab it with your pliers actually if that makes it easier so just grab that middle loop there and put it onto onto your head pin like so okay so now you've got it on there then you can close the loop on the head pin Okay, so there you've got your little heart attached to your necklace, like so. Okay, and you're going to attach one to every one of those loops which are hanging empty there. Okay, so not the big loops that go around your beads, but the ones in between. So if you have a look at the necklace again, you see on every section here that's between my large loops, I've added a heart. Okay? Um, and then all I've done is I've made the middle one a different color, obviously, okay? Just to have a little bit of a focal point. And that's pretty much it.